Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up lower thirds with ProPresenter 7, a Blackmagic ATEM video switcher, using only one output and using a chroma key, which essentially means we're gonna use a green background. I'll explain some of the limitations that come with us, but the reason that you would probably do this is because you only have the ability to do one output out of ProPresenter, not two. So there is a different way to do this using an alpha key, it takes two outputs, I can link to the video if you want to see that uh, below. So this time we're going to use ProPresenter. We're going to do a chroma key green background into an ATEM video switcher to produce the lower thirds over video. I'll explain the setup. I'll illustrate it and show you how it looks and we'll go from there. All right, so in ProPresenter, you just need to have uh, an output set up physically with a cable going from ProPresenter to your ATEM video switcher. You can do that in a lot of different ways. So I'm not really gonna cover how to do that part. I'm gonna show you how to set it up afterwards. So if we go to screens, configure screens, um, you're gonna wanna make a screen that's set up uh, for this purpose, if you don't already have one. So maybe you only have one output and it's gonna be your lower thirds, or maybe you have two. Maybe you have a video, full video screen like I have here, and then a lower thirds. So mine's currently set up for lower thirds plus alpha. So we could rename this to lower third chroma just for so we know what it is so this is my screen that's set up going to my video switcher so you're gonna set the output up to whatever physical port on your computer um, would be going to that switcher in my case I have a decklink duo card um, and it's set up on decklink duo port one so if you have an adapter or something else here you would just select the output that's going to your video switcher so once you have a screen set up and you have the output routed, you could verify that it's working by clicking, you know, clicking on a slide with text on it, going over to your video switcher, which I have a camera on mine here, and then you would see, in, in this case, I have a theme that's putting it at the bottom, so you do see words right here. So that's coming from ProPresenter, so at least we know it's working. I do have, down here, I have a camera selected, so you can see that the, the words are showing, and then we have a black box. I do have a camera live, but the chroma key is not set up, so nothing is showing through. So that's the part that we're gonna set up now. All right, so let's go ahead and clear this out. So the big thing here is uh, you don't have to use green. I'm gonna use green for my case. You just wanna pick a color that is not in any of your graphics. So in this case, I'm using white words. So you can't pick white as a color. If you're gonna use a graphic, for instance, if I go to my announcements, our primary color for our church is green, this green color here. So I actually wouldn't wanna use probably a green chroma key because it's gonna cause issues with this green graphic. So that's the one limitation with chroma keying is whatever color you pick for your chroma key, you can't use that color or anything close to it in any of your graphics. So you're a little bit limited, um, but I'm still gonna show you how to do this because it's still a pretty powerful feature. Okay, back to the song. We're just gonna keep it simple. And I believe the lyrics here are being sent with a black background. So we just have to change this. I'm gonna edit this slide and I'm gonna say, we want a slide background that is green. Perfect, so now you see I have the words over a green background. And you can see that if I send this, this is what I'm actually sending out. The green with the lyrics at the bottom of the black box because that's the theme that I have, okay? So if we jump over to my video switcher here, you can see the same thing. It's sending a green box with the words with the black background just the way I want them. Same thing is showing down here. Now I still don't see my camera because I haven't set up the chroma key in the video switcher yet. So that's what we're gonna do next. Is so we're gonna use the video switcher to get rid of this green box and it will just leave the black box with the white words with the camera behind it. All right, so I'm gonna jump over to my ATEM software control. So I have a Blackmagic uh, video switcher 
they all have this same method of doing it, no matter what model you may have. Uh, mine happens to have two mix effects, okay? So I'm gonna be on mix effects two. And then over on the right here, we have upstream keys. So that's what we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna use upstream key number one. So we're gonna click upstream key number one. I'm gonna go to chroma key. I'm gonna make sure my fill source is what's coming from ProPresenter. So I have my switcher already labeled is that source is called ProPresenter. So I'm gonna select ProPresenter or whatever source that is as your fill source. Now, this is where you just have to kind of play with it. The hue, which is the color temperature of what you're doing. So currently it's set to this blue. So you have a hue, a gain, a Y suppress, and a lift. You have all these settings to narrow it down. You also can add a mask. So you essentially can say, if I'm never gonna have graphics in these top two thirds, I can add a mask and you could do a mask on the top of you know whatever makes sense to get rid of those top two thirds. And then you don't have to worry about what color that is up there. It's always gonna get rid of it. But that's only if you, you know, only have graphics on the bottom. I'm gonna leave the mask off in my case and we're just gonna deal with the color. So you can see it's blue. And right here, this is the upstream key on off. So you can see back on my monitor, if I turn it off, you get the camera. If I turn it on, you get the green box with the lyrics. It's not working because it's set to this blue. So I'm gonna leave it on and I'm gonna drag this blue over to the green and I'm gonna show you my uh, switcher screen here as I do it. All right, so I'm dragging it and there we go. So you can see it start getting transparent, it's still green, but transparent. So I'm gonna keep dragging into the green, okay? And so what you're trying to do is you're trying to pick the green color here that matches the green coming out of ProPresenter. And then you have some fine tuning with the gain and the Y suppress. So you can see if I turn the gain up and down, uh, it's messing with the image and the Y suppress is kind of like a contrast. So we're gonna leave that right there. So again, you're just trying to reproduce the exact color tone that you expect to see by taking the green out. All right, that looks pretty good for the purposes of this tutorial. It might still be just ever so slightly green, but we're gonna leave it there for now. All right, so now you can see uh, over here on my switcher, you can see that the camera is shining through uh, showing through the green is gone and I have the lyrics in the box on the bottom. So now if I turn this on air button off, it gets rid of the lyrics. Turn it back on, I have the camera. So this is really the way to tell if it's, if you've set your hue and everything right, is you can turn it on and off and you can see if the color tone of the camera changes. If it's still changing when you go on and off, then you know that your chroma key isn't set perfectly. So you can keep fine tuning that until you go on and off and nothing with the camera itself changes color tone. So that's a quick tutorial on how to set a chroma key up out of ProPresenter to achieve lower thirds out of ProPresenter with one output using Blackmagic's ATEM video switchers to actually do the chroma keying, get rid of the green box and leave your lyrics behind. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.